did you get into Muay Thai? Um, got into Muay Thai uh, from my mother. My mother took me down to the gym. Took me, my brother and my sisters, and we just got addicted to it, and that was it then. Yeah, what age did you start? Uh, nine years old, 21 years ago. 21 years ago? Yeah. Did your, did your mum used to train as well, or was it just like a, she just knew a local gym and then just took you? In? Yeah, she knew a local gym and she just wanted to get us off the streets yeah. and get us into sport and give us something to do. Yeah, are you originally from Birmingham? Or yeah, Birmingham? yeah, I, I'm, I'm originally from Wheelie Castle myself. I've lived around here all my life. When you first joined that Muay Thai gym, how do you reckon it helped you? Like, if you look I, back at who you was back then, how do you reckon that, that gym shaped you as a person? To be honest, it changed my life. Honestly, it gave me the, uh, the good life of path, really. And I could have went the other way, but Thai boxing, it drawed me to the good way of life and gave me something to work for and something to be. Looking back at when you was in the kids' positions, like when they were first started competing, what was it like back then for you, like in your years competing? Um, it was different then because social media wasn't really such a big thing. So you just you just turn up and you'll just fight, and that's how it was. Like yeah. you didn't really get to research on anybody. You just literally got in there, and that was it. Like yeah. So yeah, like just raw training. Like, just raw, raw hard work. Yeah. <laughs> loads of running, loads of training, and just turning up and fighting, and that's what it was about. Talk more about the early state, that the early days of the gym. Like when did you start it? And um, I started the gym in about 2016 and um, it was only a part-time gym then, I was still working yeah. and I was going back on the evening, so I was working on the waterboard yeah. uh, for 7 Trent and then I was leaving that job after digging loads of holes every day and turning up to the gym, padding all the kids, padding the adults and then one day I just thought, you know what, that's it now and then 2017 my mate took this pub under Wheelie Castle and he says, I've got a function room upstairs, but you could turn into a gym. Yeah. And I just, from that day, I got the mats on the floor, got the ring in, got the bags in, got the pads, and that was it then. I never looked back. How old was you when you started it, like when you first opened the gym? Um, now you're asking me now. So if it's six years ago, 24. 24. My favorite memory of my Thai is actually probably setting up this gym, to be honest, and just seeing the smile on all the kids' faces when they're achieving things and doing such good things. There's nothing better than when a kid like, he asks, oh, I want to start fighting, and they get into the ring, mm. and they're winning them first fights, and then they're winning their first little bouts and stuff. It's a great, yeah. it's probably my favorite, um, part really of the journey. Yeah. Birmingham is a rough place. How, how important is it, do you reckon, um, for, for young people to join a place like this? I think personally it's really important, especially with the amount of crime that's going on in Birmingham. I think the kids need, the kids need this. Mm. They need this to get them off the streets and into sport. I think it's the best thing for them. It'll teach them respect, it'll teach, teach them discipline and it'll give them something uh, for when they're adults. They'll be good, respectful adults, and that's what I think it's about. My coach got me into it, Dean. Um, he got me into doing a few classes, and then I just expanded it, and a lot of my friends were asking me, can they bring their kids to come and train with me? Yeah. And I just kept doing more and more, and then when I got the gym, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, take this further like. Started in 2016, uh, Wheelie Castle Muay Thai. And I started the gym literally just to give the community something. I gave it to get the kids off the streets and give them something to aim for and something to work for. Yeah, I wanted to get involved with that to spread the word and knives down, gloves up. That's what we're about and that's what we're doing. There's so many stabbings in this area and surrounding areas. I wanted to try and make a change myself. If everyone puts a bit of effort into it, I'm sure we can get that result of knives down, gloves up. Who is someone that's um, had the most positive influence on you? The most positive influence on me has got to be um, Dean James, to be honest. He really has had a... Um, He's just a great role model and a great person, fantastic coach, fantastic fighter, and just, he's somebody we all inspire to be like. Yeah. You have a lot of kids coming through the door. 
What's the most important thing you learned from Muay Thai that you want to pass down to all your students? It's definitely the main one, respect. And that's respecting everybody. Discipline and being dedicated to something, I think is a, a, a good part for them as well. And it all adds into becoming a successful, good adult. Right. So it just goes above and beyond, like being a good fighter for you. It's being just an overall good person. Yeah, definitely. That's what we're trying to do, trying to ch change um, a lot of these kids and turning them into being good adults good employable adults. UK fighters, it's gotta be obviously like my coach, Dean. Um, I love watching Liam Harrison. Um, even like a lot of Jonathan Haggerty's and Liam Nolan's, there's loads really, to be honest. What is the main thing you look for in your fighters? Like when, when there's a kid like, kind of coming up to you saying, um, I wanna fight, um, what is the main thing that you look for? Um, good qualities and dedication, to be honest. Dedication, that's a big one. It's making sure they're turning up to training, doing the running, and just being a good person as well, you know what I mean? Being a good team player. And that's what I like in a person, to be honest. What is your message to people that want to uh, join a Thai boxing gym, but fear and anxiety is holding them back? Don't let fear and anxiety hold you back, man. Get into the gym, get training. It'll be the best thing you've ever done. Mm. Honestly, it's a great, once you get into the gym and you hit them pads for the first time, you'll never look back, ever. What is your approach to when you like, you know, teaching someone that young? Because it's not obviously as easy as, it's not, it's not easy, like. Yeah, it's not easy, like, but I try and um, teach with a little bit of fun try and get them to play around with the techniques and that, let them enjoy it. And by the time you know it, they just pick it up really nicely. If you be a little bit too strict and a bit a little bit too much with them, I feel like you, you, they drift away and they don't really make into being fighters. It puts them off a little bit. By just playing with them and letting them enjoy it, that's how I feel you bring the best out in them little ones by just being nice and playful and changing the training so they enjoy it. Yeah, not too much pressure. Just nah, not too much pressure, not being too strict. Try and just let them enjoy it by play sparring and by playing with techniques without being too strict on it, do you know what I mean? And they, um, they really pick it up nicely.